A question I got today is why did my KDP account close without any notification? That's an excellent question. Uh, the key issue is with uh, on Amazon is that at any given time they uh, they can shut your account down, and so uh, all of your books will be frozen. You will not be able to access them or update them. Uh, in fact, they can ensure that you cannot open other accounts. If you attempt to, they will see that your IP address, the internet that you have, uh, and they will they'll block that from working as well. And any money that they would have normally paid you, they will not pay out. So the amount of pain associated with having your account on Amazon closed is massive. So it could literally just be losing all of your revenue overnight as a result of something you did or something that occurred. Well, this is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com. Hit the subscribe bell and leave a comment or like if, to help me produce more videos like this one. Also, check out the checklist below in the comments that shows you exactly how to start making uh, some of the secrets behind making, uh, making money from self-publishing. Some of the best secrets that I've learned, you'll find them in the checklist below. So let's start with my story. When I first started, I discovered that Amazon had a whole series of reasons that they were freezing, shutting down people's accounts. Uh, in one case, even suing somebody. Not suing, but forcing arbitration. Uh, but usually, it is just shutting down accounts. If this occurs to you, many times they will not tell you what the reasons are that they're doing it. So that's the first thing to remember. There are two types of things that can get you in trouble, and one of them would be gray hat practices and black hat practices. So that would be things for which you're in violation of their terms and agreements, and black hat you would be in violation of the law, international law, or perhaps the laws within your own country. So, uh, and I can just make a couple comments that are very important to remember here. One of them is when you are publishing on Amazon, you are sharecropping. That is to say, you're using their territory to do it. So they have the right, if you read their terms, which is, I don't know how many hundreds of pages, you will see that they can literally shut your account down anytime for any reason or no reason at all. And they, by telling you, that would give you the ability to possibly come back against them with legal action. But since they've already told you they have the right to shut your account down without giving full reasons why, this, uh, this leaves you with very few opportunities. And once you're flagged, your account may be frozen forever. In addition, if you attempt to have other accounts using your same internet at your house, your IP address, they can track that. And that also will create a problem. Now let's get to a couple of the reasons that your account may, in fact, have been shut down. So one of them would be maybe you've bought reviews. Buying reviews for your books can be done through Fiverr or other sites like that. And they've done legal action against the people who have been selling this, these particular gigs on Fiverr, Upwork, or other locations. So that's not only white uh, gray hat, that would also be black hat. It's illegal to do that. So uh, giving misleading information. Another would be buying clicks. I've seen people get their revenue taken from them for that or setting their books for free. And then in order to get people to download or machines to download a thousand or a million downloads to get them in the top rankings, when in reality their books are not there, and then they get people to buy or download those books in massive quantity as a result of it looking like a lot of people. And those have also triggered lawsuits from Amazon against individuals who were selling that particular service, and also accounts being frozen or being warned as a result of buying that particular type of thing. Another one would be copyright claims. Maybe you're using books and material that other people own the rights to. I've seen this where you would be using perhaps a trademark or symbols like from video games or other places like that and you're making money off of those and the owners of those trademarks or copyrights that they come after. They go to Amazon and they make a claim and that results in you losing all revenue and all of those books being frozen so that you're not able to do it. And if you attempt to republish, that can result in permanent closure of your entire account. So that's also not recommended. You may even have competitors who claim that you are violating copyright and just the claim itself can create a, a serious challenge for you. Another one is changing prices too often. 
on your paperback books. If you change it too many times in a given period, Amazon may not, they will still pay you out the royalties that you had earned. However, uh, the challenges uh, will be that they can see that it changed too often and that also will result in you being threatened to close your account permanently or perhaps you will see that uh, they will just keep the revenue. I've seen that with someone who had lost many, many thousands of dollars in a given month as a result of changing the prices that they were selling their books at. Another one that also has led to problems for people has been putting the con table of contents at the end of your book or anything that would lead a link that would click to the end of your book and then combining 10 books together in order to get more pages read. That also resulted in many accounts being closed. So these are the ones that I have seen uh, people get. Also, one other one I just remembered, it would be uh, review swapping has also resulted in uh, warnings from Amazon. And uh, not necessarily, it would be also account closures and even forced arbitration, at least in one account that I can recall. So there's a number of things that you can do that uh, can get your account frozen or get warnings from Amazon. And so that's the that's the starting point. And I've seen many of this since uh, I've been publishing for many, many years and so uh, and uh, and been helping others publish. And so we see these issues come up. And so there's a couple things you're going to want to keep in mind. So what exactly are the answers? Well, the first thing is Amazon is allowed to change the rules at any time. So it's in your best interest to be in groups and be in contact with people who would actually be aware or when people are getting their accounts frozen that you also are aware that that's currently occurring so that you would be able to stay away from those activities that they're doing. So the other thing is following the rules that Amazon has, that's incredibly important. Just by following the rules that they have and at least avoiding the black hat and trying to avoid gray hat uh, practices can stop that from becoming a problem in the first place. So you're not copying other people's works, you're not using copyright, and you're not trying to use, build off of other people's trademarks or their intellectual property, that will also get you in trouble, and you're not buying reviews. These are, these are the sorts of activities that will get you in serious trouble. And a final one, and this is maybe the most important uh, that I've discovered, it's not having all of your books in one location. So you, you would not want to have them all in just Amazon, but putting them on other websites like Lulu, Ingram Spark, maybe Draft to Digital, anywhere where they're spread out. So if Amazon decides to shut down your account for any or no reason, which they have a right to, you will, your entire business will not disappear overnight. But you will indeed have the ability to actually continue publishing on these other websites, and that can really make a difference for you. So what have you found? Have you found that uh, this exact same issue? Have you ever had an account get shut down or know anybody? And maybe uh, for a different reason. So leave your comments below and like and share this video. And check out the link to my other videos uh, to answer your self-publishing questions. Thanks.